What's up internet, this is Hangiji and welcome to the second episode of the Mi Minds and Monsters Let's Play. And this episode we're going to be making an automatic uh, cow farm and an automatic chicken farm. So uh, from last episode I did a, a bit of uh, flattening here uh, to prepare uh, for our base and also I went and gathered a few resources, uh, namely a bunch of uh, stone and also I found uh, five pieces of emerald ore which uh, spawns as you may know only in um, extreme hills biomes uh, under level uh, 32 and uh, in only veins of one so this this stuff is really rare even rarer than diamonds which I also fo found uh, quite a few of uh, thanks to the uh, fortune 3 pickaxe which uh, we did uh, quite some effort uh, trying to make it and uh, uh, if you saw the skeleton spawner which I, I built into a grinder we we had to grind uh, for quite a few hours there to get uh, level level uh, 30 enchantments and uh, from that we finally got a fortune 3 so everyone could uh, finally mine the diamonds that they have found so this was from like uh, I think 10 pieces, 18 diamonds, or something pretty close, maybe 8 pieces of, or something like that. Uh, so also, um, I did a few more things around here. I uh, made this uh, snow farm, which I haven't even uh, tried out yet. Uh, as you may know, if you uh, put a snow golem in, uh, in this way into a, a cage, you can uh, push him into the partially into the other block as well by putting half slabs here and just nudging him like this a bit and now he's standing on both blocks at the same time and he won't move because he can't can't find any blocks that he can uh, move to so he won't even uh, move in that one block area either so I can just stand here uh, I, I have to aim at this point to maximize efficiency because when I, I aim here uh, after I mined this snow block, I'm going to mine the other snow block. So if I just hold left click here, it's going to make me a lot of snowballs. And as you can see, my shovel is training really quickly as well. So you might not want to do this with uh, anything better than stone because it uh, won't get any faster, but it will drain durability really quickly. And there it goes, and I can just collect the snowballs. Uh, actually, we might have to sleep here soon, and then I can uh, craft them into snowballs. And there, there I have it. I have a uh, an infinite uh, building material that is really easy to get, and I think this is going to be the main uh, material that I'm going to be making my house uh, of. So I can just put it in here. As you can see, I've prepared some more shovels but I will need more so uh, I, I'd like to fill this chest up all the way with, with uh, snow eventually. So let's go over here I have a, a really small sugarcane farm and I set up uh, a real farm as well here for wheat for uh, breeding later and also some carrots for myself to eat. So let's sleep as you can see actually you can see at the moment but just a sec as you can see I'm the only one up on the server at the moment so uh, we don't have to like coordinate sleeping to skip to morning and uh, here's my nether portal which I uh, very cleverly synced with another uh, portal so I manually built uh, the pair of this so that it won't connect with the, the portal at spawn so I, th this is my, my own portal, I built this, and if I come this way, let's hope no ghasts uh, spawn uh, in the meantime. I have a little sign up here, the, our nether fortress is that way, and uh, this is the way to spawn. And uh, I can just stand here, and this is completely separate from the other one, so I have a really quick and easy way of getting back to spawn and there are also a few modifications here uh, namely this 
uh, team, uh, this Minds and Monsters message board, which I just made uh, off camera. And the way I think it's going to be that is that people are going to put uh, like notes in here uh, about the stuff they they did on the server, and people can look at them and just get updated really quickly as to what's been going on while they were offline. So I wrote this uh, message board board rules book. It's pretty ba basic. It just says that anyone can leave messages, but they can't uh, li uh, take messages away. Uh, feel free to pause the video if you want to uh, read it in detail and also the fact that uh, you can't edit uh, unsigned so not finalized books so that we won't uh, waste any resources and we can reuse books after uh, uh, having written a message uh, in them so we're back at base and the plan is uh, currently is that uh, I saw some cows and chickens uh, in that direction and uh, I'm going to try and uh, gather them, just a few of them, with uh, wheat and for now I'm just going to make uh, like a, a pen for them like I was thinking about that area maybe so like just right there maybe clear that dirt since I need some more uh, to flatten uh, the rest of this area and uh, so yeah so I'm going to harvest this uh, wheat real quick and um, will be on our way. So there we go. That's all our wheat. I think I'm going to drop off the rest of the seeds at the at my chest here. Oh. I was getting the weird sprinting glitch and I think that's it also before we take off I think we should build the the pen for the animals so we can uh, have a place to put them so uh, I have gathered uh, a few uh, quite a few uh, pieces of wood jungle wood earlier so I think we should make this into fences okay and let's get over there And let me clear this real quick. So that's as much as I, our uh, shovel could take. So, but I think this should be a big enough area. So let me start uh, building it. Um, this should be big enough, but I don't think I'll have enough fence posts. Shocking. Let me just uh, put this down, make a few more. That should do it. And make a double gate. Damn it, not there. But instead right here and perfect it's exactly uh, the, the amount we need so since it's night time I'm gonna uh, sleep real quick and then uh, head off in that direction so I was just about to break my crafting bench when I saw this skeleton just peeking at me from behind the, the vines over here um, it scared me a bit not gonna lie um, also, I don't think I've mentioned it yet that the server is on hard difficulty, so the last thing I need is uh, mobs shooting at me and coming after me when I'm uh, herding the, the animals this way. So let me just shoot this guy with my Power 3 Flame 1 Punch 1 bow, which I got, by the way, from uh, Grinding Skeletons. Uh, it's really nice that they give these uh, pretty cool drops uh, now because it's it's really easy um, to get uh, these really cool bows with them so we have like an abundance of bows at the moment 
and we didn't even have to go far we already have some cows but to be honest what I want uh, what I really want is chickens right now because uh, because of the the message board uh, so that I can make uh, lots of books and uh, I need a quill like the feathers and the, the leather for that so here's one but I would certainly need a few more than this so that I can uh, start the farm faster. Oh, there you are. Alright, this too. That's still not optimal, but... Uh, three, okay. Yeah, three's all, three is alright, I think. So, let's get these together and try bringing them back. It shouldn't be easy. I never said that. Well, I'm stupid. I just realized that chickens follow you if you hold seeds in your hand. So, the plan has changed this time. Uh, the chickens will stay here a bit longer while we uh, go back with the cows and get some seeds. So here they are. They should be following me now. Yes. Just what I wanted. Here's the fourth one. Come on. Okay. Let's try this way. There you go. See? You're not as stupid stupid as you look. Alright. And there's our base. It's not even that far from here. Let's just try and keep them together. We have plenty of daylight remaining. So it should be good. And here we are. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. Don't don't go out. Don't go out. Just just you. Come on in. Come on. You know you want it. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna push you. There you go. That's all four of them. And I think I'm going to be uh, breeding them while I'm at it. So, yeah. Now we should have six. So let me uh, go back for the seeds. And we'll be on our way. Good morning. It's the very next day. Uh, I did a couple of things, um, like gotten the seeds, also I made a new diamond sword, because uh, this one is just about to break, and um, a few torches as well, so we're good to go, uh, back to the chickens. And here we are. Here's our first chicken. Let's get the other other two as well, if we can still find them. There you are. Okay. Are there maybe just one more anywhere? Because four, four chickens uh, I would be happy with. Ah, three is fine, I guess, as well. Come here. Let me just... Eat first. And come on. Come on. There you go. See? I know what you want. I know it's not wheat. What kind of chicken eats wheat? You're not that kind, are you? Neither are you. So come on. It will be fun, I promise. Come on. Come on. Let's find your buddy. He must be around here somewhere. Come on. Come on. Here he is. And let's go. 
I'm going to introduce all of you to the cows. They are going to be your new best friends. Your roommates, if you want. I just noticed they have this... Is it them? Yes, it is them. They have this... this uh, these feet sounds, these clap, 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 listen. Hear that? I never even noticed that before. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, there you go. I thought you didn't like me. <laughs> that is so weird. That feet sound. I think that's pretty new. I don't think that was that was in the game uh, for long. And here we are. Um, let's try and not let the cows out. Let's hope. Come on, come on, quickly. Okay. Good. There you go. That's your reward for being so cooperative. And there's a baby chicken. It's so cute. So cute with their huge heads and small bodies. Also, I found this uh, lucky egg uh, on the way while I was searching for them. So let's see if it is indeed lucky. And nothing. How surprising. So now that we have our resources, it's time to make the automation for the farms. Uh, we'll start off with the, the chicken farm. And um, I have a pretty good idea as to what I want to do. It's pretty much my own idea. At least uh, I have never seen this design for a chicken farm anywhere else before. But we do need a dispenser. And since dispensers take a bow to make, um, I decided I'm going to show you the skeleton farm. Uh, what I made of it. Uh, you may have seen it in the, the first episode while I was building it. Uh, now it's a lot prettier. It has like glass windows. Um, there's a sign that says goodbye on it uh, for them. It's quite funny I think. I also installed this glass. I also have a half, half slabs here so that nothing can spawn in this area. Hello Alex. Uh, he's one of our members. Um, this is, it says trap overview, no light sources allowed beyond this point. So that's the, for the, so because a uh, light goes in through the glass. Hello. Hello, Alex. So yeah, so we need a bow and we have tons of bows here with quite good enchantments too. So I'm going to just take one and leave with it. And we're back guys. Now we're going to start building the chicken farm. Uh, all the resources you need are right here. This will take a lot of iron, and some of this uh, iron was gener generously provided by Alex, uh, the guy you saw earlier at the skeleton farm, so thank you for that, Alex. So, we're going to start off by uh, digging a hole. And, uh, I think uh, seven by seven, and we're going to leave the the corners in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there, there's a cave here, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. And like I said, we'll leave the edges in because the the side uh, column or row or whatever. Is just for that for uh, the decoration. Oh yeah, and and this is uh, this can be any kind of building block, and you don't need uh, 64 of this and uh, 64 redstone. You don't need either. That's just um, uh, just that I'm not sure how many you need exactly. So I brought uh, rather more than less. I also uh, went and uh, enchanted some stuff, like uh, this shovel, so that I can work quicker. And also, uh, I enchanted my sword, which is sadly I only got looting to from a level 30 enchantment. 
Yeah. Uh, we will need to like, clear some more area here for the center. Uh, and it's getting night time, so yeah. Let me just try and light it up a bit more. Um, here's the cave. We're going to, I think, fill it in some more later. So, uh, the idea is that the chickens are going to be on these hoppers, which lead, which I'll lead into that block. So, let me just put the center row all facing that way, and all other rows facing into the center row. So. Anywhere, if the chicken lays an egg, it will travel uh, to this hopper and then uh, on from that, from there. It's not how I wanted it. Like this. Yep. And here, we're going to put our dropper. So the the dropper goes below. That's important. And the dispenser on top. Hold our crouch to place it on onto it, or you can just use the wall. Doesn't matter. And for circuitry, it's not really compli complicated. Let me just mine this coal first, just so. Ah, it's raining. I think we can deal with it shouldn't be too big of a problem let me just fill this in so it won't be a problem yeah and yeah we're gonna need some more space here so the idea is um, yeah let me just add that um, I hate those uh, tutorials that just say put this here put this here put this here and, th and then they don't explain anything I'd like to like explain stuff so why and how I do stuff I don't uh, claim that it's perfect you might be able to do this uh, in a more compact or more optimal way but this is just how I do it and yeah so uh, this comparator uh, will send out uh, a signal anytime that this has an item in it and I just realized that I'm gonna need one more repeater for this alright so I went back uh, grabbed this uh, second repeater um, actually let me turn this down a lot because um, we need this because whenever this has an item in it this comparator uh, will output a signal strength of one so if I put this in in there as you can see that one is active that one's inactive and we if we put a repeater here the repeater is going to like repeat the signal um, so that it can reach the the thing and we need another repeater here because if this is a repeater then this uh, block will activate the uh, the block above as well um, so then we can just uh, connect it with simple redstone and now as you can see every time this has an item they both are going to ac get activated and the dispenser is going to shoot the redstone out so let me just try and grab it. There we go. I didn't. I didn't actually. Yeah, lag doesn't let me. So let me break it. And it should be, yeah, stuck in there. And that is basically all the wiring. So like I said, it's pretty simple. And I want to make like a, a switch for it. Like a, a, dis a disable switch so that when we when we actually kill off some chickens in here then they will drop their stuff uh, into the droppers as well so we need a way to prevent this from 
spitting out the the items that the chickens drop so one way could be that uh, with a repeater lock so locking this this uh, repeater into the off state and then it uh, couldn't activate this dispenser but then the items would get uh, dispensed into so would stay in here and that is going to be blocked so we won't we don't want that so instead what I'll do is just dig under here and uh, I have this torch which I'm going to put right here and this torch is uh, actually blocking this hopper right above it so let me show you if I throw some cobble in here it will stay in this hopper because the the torch right there is activating this block and that block is connected to to the the hopper so it it, it it's not able to like uh, continue adding the items to to the to the dispenser and the items will just stay here and we can pretty easily uh, get them from here um, and we need to get some power to that and we're going to have our lever uh, right here I think somewhere so let me just put it here turn it on so that we can work with it and let's try and see yeah that that doesn't activate the, the dispenser hopefully I don't think it can no, it didn't do anything. Good. So we can just, I think, just with a, a simple line, because yeah, we don't need. Or actually, no. Uh, I don't think we will uh, block that later. And put some redstone in here, didn't I? Yeah. So let me just do this, and this, and the. Uh, you could see the torch turned off. And now there's nothing uh, stopping the. The repeater from spitting the items out. So let me just stand here and pick these up if I can. Actually, let, let's just turn it off. Um, I think I heard a, a torch like burn out. So maybe I. Yeah, it's blinking. Yeah, I think uh, this won't work. We have to use. We have to do it uh, like like this. Um. Hmm. How should we do this? Signal needs to come in from there. Or actually. We'll just do this. And these blocks we don't need either. Because we're going to have like the, the this nice stone covering it all. And block there, block uh there redstone dust redstone dust and we don't need this one we can just fill this in because we don't need it all right and that one too if I can yeah Let's put a block there and there too and not there that we need to leave uh, empty so this should work pretty well let me throw some items in it it is at the moment locked and if we unlock it it's going to keep spitting the items out um, the problem with this setup is uh, that if there are more items um, let me throw in a bit more. Yeah, so they they uh, get stuck here. So th so if say two chickens uh, laid uh, two eggs at the exact same time, 
then it might be a problem that one egg would get stuck somewhere but we're just going to assume that uh, that is not going to happen and we'll just uh, check the thing for eggs every now and then so if there are eggs stuck in it so let me just uh, stop this first P take these out and let me just finish the, the decoration on the sides and I'll be right back and there we go um, I think I'll add a, a piece of ladder just to the, the upper part of one of the corners um, just for just to let me uh, a part to get out to get out at since uh, chickens uh, can use that uh, if, if I'm correct so this is pretty much done so all we need to do is um, throw a few eggs in there let's hope we get a chicken and also I'm, g I'm going to herd the other okay no luck there but luckily oh we have a few eggs uh, eggs too so let's just tr uh, get them to follow us you are you in the fence post great good for you we'll get, we'll get him out uh, later let me just get the chickens first these three these three come on out single file let's try and knock them in there good you too and there we go let me just try and get you out of here as well let me try and not hit him okay put this back Come on, come on, look what I have. I have seeds, which you like. Oh, there's a cave. Don't go there, follow me instead. Okay, just come here to the edge. Let me knock you in. All right, and this should uh, work perfectly. We have the two eggs. Now let me just uh, throw them with a Q this time, so that in their item form and if we turn it on it's going to ah i've fallen in it just shoots them out which is exactly what we want um yeah let me make that ladder real quick uh a few sticks that is not how you make sticks No, that, that is not how you make a ladder. That is how you make a ladder. You get through as well. So I'm going to put that there. And that shouldn't uh, let any chickens out. So now that we're done here, I think that is it for this episode, guys. Because uh, I think this uh, went on quite long. For quite long. And uh, we'll do the cow farm uh, next episode. And maybe... Uh, get some some ideas as to what we're going to do with the with this area here as in like building a base like a house here so yeah see you guys in the next episode goodbye